I wanted to provide some color on the drill results from, from Crunchy Hill and give you an understanding of how we're thinking at the, at the moment. The drill concept at Crunchy was that we had a sort of center terrace quartz right at surface that's got particular characteristics that make us realize that it was formed at surface. And then the concept was that we would have veins in the hard volcanic rock that fractures easily and forms veins easily. And then that gold and silver blowing out into horizontal beds that are more permeable. So at Crunchy we had in the soil results these corridors of silver and other pathfinders and we couldn't really see which inclination they, they had and we thought that they were inclined this way. So we drilled the first couple of holes in this direction and sod's law we realized that we were drilling more or less parallel to the veins. So we turned the drill rig around and started to, to drill in this sense. We did hit a vein system. The first part of the vein had this mineral gypsum in it and then at depth the intercept in hole 7 started to hit carbonate and quartz with no gypsum and then we also started to see this mineral adularia coming in and this white clay mineral called illite along the edge of the, of the veins. And what that is, is saying is that we've got a vector to go down towards where the gold zone would be. We targeted this area because typically epithermal gold systems form around about 150 meters below the level of the surface at the time of mineralization, which would have been 150 to 170 million years ago. And what we were finding clearly is that there wasn't gold in that part of the system, but the vector was to go deeper in that system. The other thing that happened is that in drilling hole 9 right out here, almost one and a half kilometers from where these holes were drilled, we realized that there was a sedimentary layer that had the kind of permeability that we wanted to see the gold and silver bleeding out along that permeable layer. And carrying that permeable layer down to here, because we could measure its inclination, we would say, okay, we don't have the gold mineralization above this level. We know it's got to be deeper than that. And our target is where this vein would intersect this more permeable unit that we hit in hole nine. And that's why we're developing, we think we've got targets below this sort of altitude, specifically where these faults and veins go down to depth and also in this area. We're designing our drill plan at Yaoi on the basis that the gold is going to be deeper from the original land surface than it is in a normal, classic or typical epithermal system. The question as to why we don't just drill those deeper holes at, at Crunchy Hill, it's something that we're considering all the time, but you know we want to drill at Yaoi and what we learn at Yaoi, which is a system similar to this, what we learn at Yaoi will likely make us tweak our understanding of where this gold system actually is in Crunchy Hill. And Crunchy is on the tarred road on the way back, the asphalt road on the way back from Yaoi. It would be easy to stop off there and drill a couple more holes. <laughs>